but uh, Evan, can you talk about the three pointer at the end? Um, yeah, uh, DG drove the lane. Uh, my guy helped off, um, just backpedaled the space, and uh, I've been working on the shot a lot and uh, shot it with confidence, and it, it went in. So. Spencer Davies, Kaz Insider. Um, of the way that, that DG defended tonight, just the, taking the Tyrese assignment, how do you feel like that guy's, that helped you guys uh, with the passing lanes and, and all that? Um, yeah, he did a great job on Tyrese. Um, I feel like he was on his P's and Q's this whole time. Uh, Tyrese is very fast, and I feel like uh, DG definitely uh, stepped up his in intensity uh, to match it, and uh, I feel like DG fast as well, and uh, I feel like he used it tonight uh, to his advantage and uh, really made it hard for uh, Tyrese tonight. Yeah. Evan, what can making that three-pointer in that situation do, not just for you going forward, but to opponents going forward knowing that they really need to respect that shot? Um, it brings a lot. Uh, it brings a lot of spacing. Um, guys can't help it off as much. Um, more lanes will be open, and um, I just got to keep shooting them like that with confidence and uh, keep working on it and knocking them down. And I feel like it will just help the team a lot and help myself as well. Jimmy? George, you shooting about 47% from three, I think, in the month of March. Where's your confidence at right now, and how are you? Um, you know, I just think throughout the course of the season, there's been highs, there's been lows. I'm just trying to stay to stick to my routine and, and do what I do and stay in, in the present because uh, as well as I know that it can go good, you know, sometimes it can also go the other way. So just being present and continue to shoot it with confidence. I've been shooting the ball my whole career um, and I started off slow uh, this year, but, you know, I think just being confident in your routine and continue to step up and every shot is a one shot life and you just have to keep shooting them a lot of emotion after one of them tonight yeah um, yeah i don't know if you knew that i played for the sixers last year <laughs> so it felt good to you know beat them especially after we felt like we had dropped two of them without joel before that george how good was it just to have mostly a full squad out there it's been a while since you guys been at the full steam yeah i think it's great you know i think we've been scratching and clawing to build chemistry throughout this whole year with the group you know that we originally set out to have and obviously the year things happen you can't plan for those but uh i was extremely pleased you know especially with you know how Ev's continuing to grow and, and shoot with confidence and then dg taking the task of uh garden tyrese maxi those are huge huge things for us and uh i think us building that collectively uh throughout these games and peaking at the right time and playing our best basketball is the most important thing yes i know you know we want to win every single game that we play and and that's how we attack it but i think for us is playing the best cavaliers basketball we can play going into the end of april may and into june I know you weren't necessarily being passive in the first half, but were you? Did you come out in the third quarter like I need to be more aggressive? I got to try to get some shots out here. Um, yeah, um, trying to be aggressive throughout the whole game. Uh, I feel like uh, ball just wasn't uh, moving my way first half, and uh, I just uh, try to be involved as best I can. Um, first half was just really getting rebounds, and second half uh, try to come out and just be as aggressive as possible. Um, a lot of guys were getting denied, so. I would just take it down and uh, try to uh, create something myself, and uh, that really got me going. And then uh, just kept going from there and um, hit a few threes. And um, <coughs> there's, a, there's a, a good amount of different plays um, that I, I remember that really got me going. And um, and that was just me just trying to uh, stay locked in uh, no matter what the first half or and, and just being present in the game. Yeah. Have you talked a lot about? just the work that you put in for to get that three point shot to where it is now. And obviously that started when you first got hurt and the team kind of shifted to three point more shooting. What has your confidence gone like from the beginning of the season to the to where you are now when it comes to shooting that shot? Um it's it's definitely very high, especially after uh making a big one like that in, in that type of situation and um I'm just gonna keep shooting them like that. Um I just got to trust my process, trust uh, all the work that I put in every single night and um, and, and keep continuing to put that uh, work in and uh, keep growing my game and expanding it as much as I can. And I feel like that's just going to help the team and uh, help me as well. So um, just, just keep staying locked in, head down, and, and, and keep working. What has that process been like for you to go out 
out multiple times and have to come back and not only readjust to what the team's got going on, but to know that you have to stick to what you're good at and what your game is on a night-to-night basis? Uh, it's just a reminder of uh, like back in the day when um, you just got to stay in the gym and, and, and just keep working. Uh, um, there's going to be setbacks that uh, come your way. You just got to keep your head down and uh, know know your craft and uh, know what you've been doing your whole entire life and, and, and just stick with that. Um, so that's what I, I did most of this year. And uh, I feel like uh, all the work is paying off and I'm just going to keep working and uh, just keep getting better. Last two, Evan Jackson. Uh, George, was he your eye that got poked in the final moments of the game? Yeah, no, I think he, someone went to go punch the ball and they punched my eye, but uh, it's all good. Okay, you say yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. No. In this game, for either of you, were the, was there, it, it had that feeling of like a playoff game. There's a lot of back and forth. Um, was there just a moment for either of you guys when you're like, okay, the momentum's in our corner, like we have this one? Uh, I, I don't know if you ever want to feel that way, but when there was .1 seconds on the clock, I definitely felt that momentum was in our favor. Um, but with that being said, you, you can't ever just think that you have it won. Uh, those guys are scratching and clawing, you know, for a playoff position, and uh, I think the next, you know, eight games that we have, are we're expecting them to be playoff atmosphere, playoff type um, games, because the West Coast teams that we're playing are fighting for seeding, and so aren't we. And, um, you know, I, I think we're going to have to bring that same type of aggression, that intensity um, on this West Coast trip. But that being said, you know, we're going to try and play, you know, our best and try and peak at the right time and uh, just try and go 1-0 and five times on, on this uh, road trip. Uh, Evan, so I talked to Isaiah after Wednesday's charge game. He's trying to shoot more threes, too. And one of the things that he said that's been kind of a struggle for him is reprogramming himself to be taking threes in certain areas instead of just driving. Is that a, something that you've encountered, too, as you're trying to take more threes? Yeah, uh, a little bit. Um, I feel like m- my game naturally is uh, definitely a downhill player um, and, and, and driving the ball. Um, but um, I feel like what's best for this team and um, how the league is today, uh, there's a lot more uh, three-pointers being shot and stuff like that, so i got to be comfortable with uh, both, uh, having that both in, in my game. And uh, that just makes me more of a threat uh, where I can shoot it or um, puff it and, and, and go by. So. <coughs> so are you like out there trying to consciously stay in certain spots so that you, so that these opportunities come up more? Um, I feel like this is natural spacing uh, of NBA spacing. Um, I feel like I, I figured that out since the first year. Um, definitely uh, with my development of the three, uh, staying out there a little more, uh, staying in the corners and uh, trying to st- stretch the defense out. Um, but that's just uh, NBA uh, spacing, and you just learn that from just playing the game.